centro é um lugar que uma parte da cidade parece ter esquecido que existe. Tem um clima decadente de quem foi abandonado sem grandes explicações. Everything that you see in the film was defined by the discoveries I made when I was looking for footage. Uh, I started with my own footage, which I shot 32, 33 years ago when I was at university. A lot of it was VHS, uh, many photographs, black and white and color, and uh, a few Super 8 uh, uh, images also. And it basically meant uh, having a look at myself 30 years ago, my friends, uh, my family, um, some of these people are gone now and it, the whole thing became a, a kind of a very emotional uh, process of research. It's a film that really was defined by what I found. And every time I, I, I looked for something, I would find something else. And, and then it just became a, like a chain reaction of ideas that came from the footage the archival footage that I that I found. The tricky thing about making a film about memory and about cinema is getting a little melodramatic or maybe uh, too sentimental, I think. I think when you when you make a film about cinema, which is something that I love, you should you should be very honest and very open about how you feel about it. And if, if you're honest enough, and if people understand how honest you are, I think the film will communicate. So Alexandre, who's in the film, I, I have hours of, of footage with him, and he happened to be, to this day, he happens to be one of the best uh, human beings I've ever had the, the, the good fortune of, of meeting. And, and he, yeah, he was just a great, a wonderful, man and uh, I'm happy that people are they are reacting to him as as if he was alive you know the people write on letterbox the best person in the world uh, I love the uh, Alexandre he's a great guy and, but he, he had a more pragmatic uh, 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 point of view on, on, on cinema because he worked inside inside cinema literally many cities they actually have a they, they actually have a choice there comes a point when they they should ask themselves uh, so we have this cinema uh, thousands of people come to this place every week and uh, it's on the street it's on the sidewalk uh, it's not in inside a shopping mall or, is it in the best interest of the city to keep this place going to, to maybe to help it, you know, to find ways of making it easier to keep it going. So it's really about um, uh, getting people out onto the street rather than having people in, 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 um, in commercial uh, environments where everything is designed to make you spend money. You know. I think we are uh, recovering from a, a dramatic moment because um, uh, not only we enter the new moment in technology with streaming, uh, but also we had the pandemic, and the pandemic uh, kind of shook things uh, to the core. Um, and it taught people to stay at home for health reasons. So I think we're still recovering uh, from what the pandemic did to all of us and to film culture as a whole. I'm optimistic because I believe in adding experiences So I, I, I like that today I can watch uh, something on HD, HDR and, and Dolby Atmos at home, but I can also choose to see a film in my favorite uh, cinema. So these two possibilities are what strikes me most as something positive. You know? um, if all cinemas close and I can only access films through streaming, uh, I think it would be a terrible... Uh, And I don't even see that happening.